Antarctica. The least populous and most southern continent on Earth is Antarctica. It encompasses the geographical South Pole and is almost fully south of the Antarctic Circle, bordered by the Southern Ocean. With a surface area of 14,200,000 square kilometers, Antarctica is the fifth largest continent, about twice the size of Australia and larger than Europe. Ice blankets the majority of Antarctica, with an average thickness of 1.9 kilometers. The continent with the greatest average elevation is Antarctica, which also tends to be the coldest, driest, and windiest overall. With about 200 millimeters of yearly precipitation at the shore and much less inland, it is primarily a polar desert. Antarctica is home to 70% of the world's frozen freshwater reserves, which, if they melted, would cause sea levels to rise by about 60 meters. The lowest recorded temperature on Earth, at 89.2 degrees Celsius, is held by Antarctica. In the summer, coastal areas can experience temperatures of more than 10 degrees Celsius. Mites, nematodes, penguins, seals, tardigrades, and nematodes are examples of native animal species. Where vegetation is present, it typically takes the form of moss or lichen. The first time the Antarctic ice shelves were likely observed was in 1820, during a Russian expedition commanded by Mikhail Lazarev and Fabian Gottlieb von Bellingshausen. In the decades that followed, French, American, and British expeditions carried out more exploration. A Norwegian team made the first official landing in 1895. There were a few voyages into the interior of the continent around the beginning of the 20th century. British explorers were the first to reach the magnetic South Pole in 1909, while Norwegian explorers were the first to reach the geographic South Pole in 1911. About 30 nations, all of which are signatories to the 1959 Antarctic Treaty System, are in charge of Antarctica. The treaty's provisions forbid mining, nuclear explosions, and the storage or disposal of nuclear waste in Antarctica. In and around Antarctica, the main human activities are tourism, fishing, and research. Around 5,000 people live in research stations during the summer, but only roughly 1,000 do so during the winter. Despite its isolation, the continent is significantly impacted by human activity due to pollution, ozone depletion, and climate change. Ten Facts About Antarctica 1. Antarctica holds most of the world's fresh water. Incredibly, the enormous ice sheet covering Antarctica contains 60 to 90 percent of the fresh water on Earth. With its astounding 14 million square kilometers of Antarctic mountain ranges, valleys, and plateaus covered in ice, the Antarctic ice sheet is the largest on Earth. Only 1 percent of Antarctica is now permanently free of ice. In several places, including many of the places we travel to on the Antarctic Peninsula, the ice has gone throughout the summer. Half as tall as Mount Everest, Antarctica's ice is 4.5 kilometers thick at its deepest point. Global sea levels would rise by nearly 60 meters if it completely melted. 2. Antarctica is a desert. How could Antarctica be a desert when there is so much fresh water stored in the ice sheet? The majority of us associate deserts with sand dunes and scorching weather, but in reality, a desert need not be hot or sandy, rather, it depends on how much precipitation the region receives in the form of rain, snow, mist, or fog. Any area with extremely low yearly precipitation is considered a desert. Over the previous 30 years, the South Pole experienced little over 10 mm of annual rainfall on average, 0.4 in. The average amount of precipitation over the continent is too low to qualify Antarctica as a polar desert, despite the fact that there is greater precipitation towards the shore. Even though Antarctica is covered in ice, the fact that so little rain falls there means that it has taken an amazing 45 million years for the glacier to reach its current thickness. Antarctica is not only the coldest, windiest, and tallest continent on Earth, but it is also one of the driest. 3. Antarctica used to be as warm as Melbourne. It can be challenging to picture Antarctica as a warm, temperate paradise given that the coldest land temperature ever recorded was minus 89.2 degrees Celsius there. But Antarctica hasn't always been a frozen continent covered in a huge ice sheet. 
Antarctica was actually formerly nearly as warm as Melbourne is now. According to research, Antarctica saw temperatures as high as 17 degrees Celsius 40 to 50 million years ago. Scientists have also discovered fossils demonstrating that Antarctica formerly had lush green forests and was home to dinosaurs. Four. The Antarctic Peninsula is one of the most rapidly warming areas on Earth. Comparatively speaking to other parts of the planet, the Antarctic Peninsula is warming faster. It is really one of the planet's regions that is warming the fastest. The Antarctic Peninsula has experienced an average temperature rise of 3 degrees Celsius over the previous 50 years, which is five times the global average. As a result, some things have changed, such where and when penguin colonies originate and when sea ice forms. The luxuriant mosses of the Antarctic Peninsula will also enjoy a somewhat longer growing season as a result. 5. There is no Antarctic time zone. It might be difficult to tell the time in Antarctica. The longitude lines that determine the various time zones found on Earth all converge at the South Pole. In the summer, much of Antarctica receives six months of non-stop daylight, and in the winter, six months of total darkness. Without the conventional identifiers for day and night, time begins to feel a little odd. Although it can be problematic, scientists operating in Antarctica typically adhere to the time zone of the nation they left. For instance, there are stations from Chile, China, Russia, the UK, and many other nations on the Antarctic Peninsula. You can see how it may be challenging to share data and resources without accidentally waking up one another in the middle of the night if all of these nearby stations adhere strictly to their own time zones. Unless we are traveling to the Falkland Islands or South Georgia, travelers with Aurora expeditions typically adhere to Ushuaia time. Then, when we move around, we alter to their local time. 6. Every way is north. The southernmost point on Earth is where you would be if you were to stand at the South Pole. No matter which way you turn, north is always to the north. Why then do we refer to the region just south of Australia as East Antarctica and the Antarctic Peninsula as being in West Antarctica? It is based on the Prime Meridian, a hypothetical line that passes through Greenwich, United Kingdom, at longitude 0 degrees. East Antarctica is to the right and West Antarctica is to the left if you are standing at the South Pole and facing Greenwich. 7. Antarctica has active volcanoes. There are multiple volcanoes in Antarctica, and two of them are erupting right now. The southernmost active volcano on Earth is Mount Erebus, the second highest volcano in Antarctica. This icebound volcano, which is situated on Ross Island, has numerous unusual characteristics, including ice fumaroles and twisted ice statues that develop around gases that seep from vents close to the volcanic crater. During the difficult and extremely freezing five-day hike to the steaming crater, a party led by Australian geologist Edgeworth David and featuring Douglas Mawson achieved the first ascent of MT. Erebus in 1908. On Deception Island, a volcanic caldera in the South Shetland Islands, there is a second active volcano. Following the most recent eruption in 1969, it was abandoned and is now a fascinating location that we stop by on several of our Antarctic Peninsula cruises. It was formerly the site of a thriving whaling station and later a scientific station. 8. There's a subglacial lake that flows blood red. A peculiar phenomena was noticed in 1911 on a secluded glacier in East Antarctica. Water seeping from the glacier's interior was staining the Taylor Glacier's lily-white ice a dark crimson color. Scientists stated in 2017 that they had found the cause of the red color, which had been a mystery for many years. Blood Falls got its name because the water coming out of the glacier originated from a subglacial lake that was rich in oxidized iron and salt. When the iron came into contact with air, it rusted, giving the water its vivid crimson color. 9. Antarctica has its own treaty. Antarctica was the only continent that had no native inhabitants when people first saw it in 1820. 
there was considerable tension as a result of the early claims made by several countries to the continent. While some nations insisted that Antarctica belonged to them, others vehemently disagreed. Everyone acknowledged the necessity for a peaceful conclusion as the tension increased. The Antarctic Treaty, an unusual international pact to rule the continent jointly as a reserve for peace and science, was signed by 12 nations in December 1959. Since then, the treaty has been ratified by 41 additional nations who also take part in annual conferences where management decisions on human activities in Antarctica are made. Within the Antarctic Treaty system, all decisions are reached by consensus, with cooperation and agreement serving as the two main tenets. A complete ban on mining and mineral prospecting is now part of the Antarctic Treaty system, which has also been expanded to include severe regulations for commercial fishing and seal hunting. Ten. Diamond dust floats in the air. Although Antarctica experiences little precipitation, it is home to many meteorological marvels, including diamond dust. Tiny ice crystals that form out of damp air near the Earth's surface are what make up diamond dust. It resembles an icy fog somewhat. Ice crystals glisten in the sunshine as they hang suspended in the air, giving the illusion of a million tiny floating diamonds. Beautiful optical phenomena like sun dogs, halos, and light pillars are also caused by diamond dust. If you previously read our list of interesting facts about the Arctic and feel that 10 entertaining facts about Antarctica aren't quite enough, here are a few more for the road. Did you know that while penguins don't inhabit the Arctic, they do in Antarctica? Perhaps the largest seal on Earth, the southern elephant seal, may be encountered there even if Antarctica has no permanent human population? It is impossible to find a place on Earth like Antarctica.